Hey everybody, Alan Hain here, ValpoLife.com, NorthwestIndiana.com. I am here with Clay, one of the brewers at Sun King down in Indianapolis. A rare treat. We're going to try some beers, Indiana beers. Love to support Indiana business. So without further ado, Clay, what do we have right now from your place, Sun King? What do we got? What are going to start with? Well, hey everybody. Um, we have our three house beers. Uh, Sunlight Cream Ale. It's a nice, crisp, light, easy to drink beer. Uh, it's an everyday lawnmower, great on the golf course. Wee Mac is a smooth and malty Scottish ale. Um, it's a nice brown ale, a little bit of hazelnut and toffee, and my personal favorite, and I probably think his from talking, is Osiris Pale Ale. Those ladies love it too. All right, let's do it, man. I love beer in cans. Couple reasons why. If you're a craft beer drinker, number one is canned beer unspoiled. No sunlight gets to it. It's going to have the purest flavor that you can get. Number two, yes, we can go on the golf course with it. We can take it on the lawnmower. Cheers. So Sunlight Cream Ale is an all malt beer. It's barley, it's wheat, and it's oats. The wheat and oats give it a little bit more body than your traditional light beer, um, but it's really nice. It's crisp, it's clean, it finishes nice and clean, yeah. lightly hopped. So this has got a really nice kind of bready note to it. And I'm gonna tell you what, guys, I talk about, you even, Clay mentioned it, gateway beers. This is a gateway craft beer. If you're a Miller Lite, Budweiser drinker, but you wanna support local, you wanna drink local, you wanna support small business and get into craft beer, right there, go right there. You're gonna get more flavor, but you're not gonna get your tongue twisted, so. I like to tell people if your mother, brother, cousin, or uncle doesn't think that they like craft beer, hand them a Sunlight Cream Ale, yep. and they're going to go, wow, this is really delicious. So it kind of helps open your eyes and change your mind. Yeah, it's got great carbonation too, which is really important for a good lighter beer like this. Great in spring. This is a good spring kind of beer for sure. It is. It is what I, what I drink every time after I mow the lawn. I sit back and I survey what I've just done, and I kick back with a nice cold Sunlight Cream Ale. <laughs> so. <laughs> Eric, my camera guy's laughing because he knows that I'm a lawn guy. There you go. Okay. See. All right, good. Let's go. What we got our next All one? All right. So Wee Mac is a Scottish style ale. Um, it is a smooth and malty brown ale. It's got a nice rich brown color. It is dark without being heavy and it is sweet without being cloying. So it's a little bit of a step up. Um, hazelnut and toffee from the malt. This beer is all about the malt. Nice, smooth, clean. Oh, that is good. Thanks. So here's the thing with this, so a browns, I love browns when it's cold out, get the fire going, but this one isn't, some browns are like so woodsman, they just, it's like, it's like licking tree bark almost sometimes. <laughs> this is lighter. Again, I would say, if you don't drink craft beer, you could start with this too. And you, because this has really good multi flavor, that toffee, but not over the top. It's not gonna knock you out. So I would even say this is a good gateway beer, but also enough flavor and aroma and uh, complexity that a seasoned craft beer drinker also will enjoy. Certainly. Now let's go for some hops. All right, so this, this beer, Osiris Pale Ale, it's literally the beer that myself and my partner, fellow brewer Dave Colt, we designed and brewed this recipe because this is the beer that I want to drink every day of my life. Okay. If I were stranded on a desert island, this would be the beer that I would choose, and if I had a last meal on death row, I would eat it and wash it down with an Osiris Pale Ale. Um, All right. We, uh, hops can be really scarce, and uh, when we started up almost four years ago, um, we wanted to utilize hops that were more readily available. We used Nugget and Cascade, which are really classic American citrus hops. Um, but we utilize them in a way that gives it a really nice spicy citrus hop. Um, the hops border on an IPA while the alcohol is still down at 5.6, so it's a sessionable pale with a really nice crisp citrus Great. hop aroma. Nice grapefruit note. Love that. Oh yeah. Okay, so first thing comes to mind here, very well balanced. Thank you. Guys, as you, anybody that's a hop head knows, sometimes you get too much hops, which I don't know if that's possible, but it, it, it too, can be, we don't want it to be straight bitter. Yeah, we strive or, for everything that we do to be balanced. We're we too malt. Right, yeah. you're well balanced, good malt backbone. Thank you. And you know you're right, this isn't gonna kill you, this is gonna kick you over the edge, but for a hop head, great flavor, enough hops that you get that nice, you know, curl that you like. A little orange peel in there I'm getting. Yeah. So here's the thing with this one. So now, if you've been drinking craft beer for a little while, tried a few things, 
maybe you've gotten to like a Sam Adams lager and you're like, okay, this is good, I like the flavor. Looking for something a little bit more. Okay, so there's where you go. This is your introduction to becoming a hop. It is. I would, right? It, might, it, it is. Would, you know? The flavors build on themselves. We get you with the sunlight cream in, right. you drink it for a while, you say, I don't really like dark beers, but I'm gonna give this Wee Mac a shot. You try it and it's delightful. Uh, I personally drank a lot of malty beers, and then somewhere along the way, I remember the first time I tried Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, it kind of, it, it changed my life. The first time I had it, I was a malty beer guy, and I had it, I was like, oh, that's really bitter, and then another year or so later, I had it again, and I was like, oh, that's really nice, and there then it the is. next thing I know, all I really wanted was hops for about two years of my life. I'm like, give me hoppy beer, give me that's, hoppy beer. So it's a progression. Your your palate progresses over time, and that's exactly what Clay's talking about. And it's, that's the wonderful thing about craft beer, is you have flavors to take your palate through and as he'll tell you too because he's even more seasoned than I am you'll go into hops back to browns to malts to hops and now to me it's a seasonal thing it so is. I'm come we're gonna be in spring soon so I'm gonna go for some lighter stuff because I've been real malty lately and then when I get into summer I want hops so this is uh, this has been a great experience yeah, good thank, thank you very you. much you. guys cheers Sun King and in Indy so this has got to be my next my next trip now right Eric cameraman actually actually <laughs> right actually we launch a week from Monday with Indiana beverage and Sun King will be available in northern Indiana it'll be on tap right here at catch 22 so there we go guys you got the scoop actually come back I got the scoop come back around northwestindianalife.com I am Alan Hain. I am the biggest craft beer nut in the region, but also the nicest. I'll see you guys next time.